What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hey, people, come on, stop instead. You know, obrigado for watching the video. If you don't know what obrigado means, it's uh, Brazilian Portuguese. I'm nice in certain languages. And the one language I only need to know, and it's female. Come back to lecture and no, I am just doing that because I know I'm gonna piss people off saying that. I'm gonna talk about something that I hold on, let me close this up. I had answering my emails by the way. Uh, I include the email inside the the description box. So I, I answer all my emails, trust me. So I'm like some I get, may not get to maybe a month or so, but I do answer my email. Back to lecture man. I'm going to talk about how uh, ESPN is making too much of a fucking big deal about this Michael Sammons. Now, if you don't know, Michael Sammons is the first openly gay football player, you can say this now, on, on an active NFL roster. And ESPN, in their infinite wisdom, has decided to make this a fucking topic. That's all we got to talk about. And like me personally, and a lot of my friends, and a lot of people who watch sports, we don't give a fuck about his personal stuff. Like as long as he ain't out there raping kids and women and beating up old ladies and shit, well, which, <laughs> well, that'd be the normal nowadays for NFL, wouldn't it? But, but as I'm saying, I don't care about ESPN did a report that included his showering habits at training camp. Showering habits. I don't give a fuck with the guy who uses an axe or fucking Old Spice. It ain't none of my business. I don't care about his personal life that bad. Like that, I don't care if he's a good player and if he's, if he's playing against my team. And we, if he's good enough, how are we going to stop him? If he's not playing, well, then I'm not worried about him. The fact of the matter is, you turn and, I, and get down to the NFL Nazis, they have their hand in this too. Because what they've done is, they went as so far as to ask all teams who wants this guy. So now you got an agent, you got a whole league. This guy's this guy is too big to fail, as they would say. But, but back to ESPN, my problem with ESPN is, but why are you reporting on this? The only look, look ESPN, the guys that the playing in the NFL, they're worried about the game coming up. They're worried about their opponent. They not they're not concentrating about oh boy what his sexuality is. Believe me, there's probably a lot more in the locker room than like ride that side of the fence anyway. They just decide not to come out. And most of these guys probably know. But that's like I said, they don't out because that's their business. They don't roll on them like that. They play the game, y'all, we're all men. But ESPN and their infinite wisdom has to take has to give you a report. And then what they did is they like after Fisher exploded, well he did it in a politically way. After Fish Fisher exploded, ESPN wanted to do a little uh a retractable statement, which I'm not going to believe it because it's, I hate to say it, it's news. The ESPN has gone from we're going to sporting reporting of news, of news, my fault, to the sports reporting of social issues of news. And this is a social issue right here. This is a hot topic. Dang, lesbian marriages are up. ESPN did it to get clicks. And like I said, after Jeff Fisher, he, he was nice about it because he, he did the political way because, like I said, that get down the rest of the Nazis up there in charge. It just to me is getting to sit where he said uh, he's a good fit in the locker room. This and that. Who cares? He could be a bad fit in the locker room. Look, let me let me tell you people something. The NFL is a, is a unto itself. Like it's a, it's all American. It's culture itself. If Liberace or Elton John or RuPaul or any other of your famous gay entertainer, if Alan DeGeneres got in there and had a 95% completion rating for a passer, they'd make that team and start. And if, uh, it ain't about if you're gay, straight, it's about if you can produce. If you can produce, you'll play. If you can't produce, you won't play. If you got the talent, you'll make the team. This young man has the talent and he made the team. That's all it is. ESPN is making more of it, and that's why I'm going to If it ain't like Mike and Mike, if it ain't like the NFL guys, like like the Game Day, like Jaws and all them, I just don't watch ESPN because I don't have time for the dumb shit. 
I'd rather watch Van Winkle Man's fishing shows before game day, before I watch ESPN under bullshit reports. So like I said, I know, and I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get viewers and draw a, a segment of viewers, but you're drawing them at the expense of alienating the majority of your viewers. So they know stuff I don't know, but then again, it is owned by Disney and those freaks. So I'm out. Peace.